Hello and welcome to this video on how to copy a completed course into a blank course. So, a few things to check. So, uh, EMG 11007, this, class, this uh, course, section 7, is completed with attendance. The gradebook is set up. And again, this is all shown in different videos. I'm just double checking to make sure everything is set up. Okay, so that's all set up. Everything is all nicey nice here in ENG 107 and uh, 107. How about 110-7? Okay, so it's got all the assignments throughout the whole entire course. So this is all done. It's 100% completed. It's a work of art. It's a beautiful thing. Okay, now instead of having to recreate all of this for every single section you're going to teach. So if you're teaching a different section of 110, let's say, oh, I don't know, like section 6. Okay, this is what a blank Moodle uh, shell looks like. Okay, notice that under grades here, there, and when we go to the gradebook setup, okay, nothing has been set up, nothing. This is a blank slate. This is just as if it was just nothing. Okay, no grades have been set up. If you go back, we have just a list of the topics, uh, nothing. Okay, so this is nothing has been touched with this. It's fresh. It's new. Now, I want to copy over basically everything. Um, I want to have a brand you know, I want this one to be complete as well. Now, there's many things that I can copy over from the class that's already been completed. Okay? Now, to do this, however, there's a couple of little tricks that you'll need to do. First thing you'll need to do is make sure that we have, if you just leave it like this, it's not going to work. Okay? I've done this, I've practiced this, and I'm running into issues. So. You'll notice here, I've done it by week. So what we need to do is we need to change that first. So on our blank class here, blank class, the first thing I'm going to do is go over here and hit Edit Settings. I click on the little gear, hit Edit Settings. And I want to, okay, so we know that, now the classes, the first day of class is the 16th um, for Monday, Wednesday, Friday. If it's a Tuesday, Thursday class, it would actually be the 17th. But since we're going to be doing this as weeks, I'm going to actually set this for that Monday, even though class. So um, that doesn't mean anything's due and they don't have to attend on this. But this way, all my weeks start on a Monday. Okay, so I'm changing that to the 14th of August. I'm leaving this alone. I'm not, and I'm do not click enable. Just leave that alone. And then under course format, click on course format. I'm going to change this to weekly format. And it just so happens that for this semester, fall uh, 2017. We have 17 weeks. 17 weeks. Okay. Alrighty. So there is the thing. So we're going to save that. This is the first thing I've done. Again, so I've got all my weeks set up now. Okay. That's the only thing I've done. Grades are still blank. I haven't done anything else. And notice here that it has just announcements listed there. That's fine. I haven't done anything else. But now I'm ready to start to import stuff from the other class. And how I do that is I go back to the gear, hello Mr. Gear, and I go to import, I'm going to import, and I'm going to go to the class that's been completed. So again, this is the class that was completed, section 7, and it's uh, 2017, the 01 means it's the first semester, so this would be fall semester. So in spring, it actually says 2017-02. Yeah, you can see like see down here, that's actually spring and that's actually summer. Okay, but this is so that's the class that's done. That's what we want to import from. So we click on the little button there and hit continue. And then we include all these things. We just leave those all checked. Hit next. Now, it already has an announcements thing set up in it. So we're not going to need announcements. Um, attendance, it's just easier to set up attendance for each class. Because right now, this attendance, if it copies over, it's going to Set up, it's going to copy over the attendance settings from that other class, which means at a different time and on different days. So we'll just unclick attendance. So basically on this one, we just unclick announcements, unclick attendance, but everything else I'm going to leave checked. Okay, so that's all going to copy over. And then I hit next. Okay, and it's going to say, do you want to copy all this stuff? And so again, the only two things we're not copying over are announcements and attendance. Everything else we're going to keep the same. And then we're going to hit perform import. And then it does this little blue funky dance. Do the funky dance. Da, 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 and see if it actually comes close to the time it says it's going to be. 
So this is performing everything. It's, it's importing stuff from section 7 into section 6. Okay. Now, in theory, this should copy over the gradebook and all the assignments and everything. Okay, that's, that's the theory here. Let's hope it works. 0 0.05 seconds. Tick, okay. All right, so it says import complete. So let's see if it actually did. Let's see how we're looking here. Okay, so now we've got, okay, so if we, get, if we go back and look at section 7, okay, this is what I had here. Damn, that looks good. And then, okay, so there's my weeks and there's all my stuff that came over. That's good. Alrighty, so far so good. Alright, okay. A couple of changes now. This is where we're going to cross our fingers. Let's see if the gradebook copied over. Let's, let's hope that's the thing. So I'm going to click on grades. And I'm going to go over and click on gradebook stuff. And no, it did not copy over. I see, I, I just don't get that. Boo! Boo. All right, well, then we have to set up the grade book, which stinks. Um, and I tried to do it the other way, and it didn't work. So this is, again, Moodle stinks sometimes. But it's really not the end of the world. I'll do another video on how to fix this in just a minute. All righty, well, but let's go back to the actual class here. Okay, so this is a couple of things that I'm going to change is, um, so if we look at 07 here, what I do at the top is, you know, welcome to ENG 110, this class meets, and I put the days in the meet. So I'm going to copy that, and then I'm going to go back to this one, I'm going to turn my editing on. Okay, da -da -da. I'm going to edit this. Okay, and this so happens that section six does not meet. What are you doing? Okay, uh, it meets on, now notice that I have here TH and I put Tuesday and Thursday because some students are like, oh, it only meets on Thursday. Yeah, no. Okay, this one actually, but section six here actually meets Monday, Wednesday, Friday. And because we don't want to have any confusion. Monday, Wednesday, and Friday. Boy, spelling is wonderful. Okay, and section six here meets just by looking at my other little calendar here. This happens that it meets from 10 a.m. to 10.50 a.m. And it's going to meet in room 11. Okay, I'm going to change that. Save changes. Okay. And then also notice that for my first week, when I set up Section 7, it was a Tuesday, Thursday class. I'll need to change that. And just change that to this. changes okay and then the last thing I need to do is set back up the well not the last thing because that's a picture grade book boo okay but I'm going to add uh, attendance again this is shown in a different video so I'm going to kind of just zip through this um, oops let me go back da, 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 da. yeah you wanted to add attendance attendance where are you where for art though attendance well, that's weird. Try that again. Add attendance. There we go. I'm well, going to do attendance. All right. Change grade. Leave that category. It's not categorized. The categories aren't set up yet. Boo! Because of the grade. Fine. Whatever. I'll change that in a few minutes. But attendance is now a thing. I'm going to drag it up here right below announcements. I'm going to go in and set up my dates. All my settings. Again, I personally think if they're excused, they should get full points for being excused, not be penalized for that. And then I'm going to go to add session. 
And again, this is explained more in detail in another video. Birthday class is 16. This class meets from 10 to 10 Okay. But yeah, no, do not allow students to record their own tenants. That's just a bad idea. And we're going to repeat that one the Monday, Wednesday, Friday. Come on, quick. It's not that hard. Okay. Leave this alone. Don't touch this. And then the last day of class is like. What is the last day of class? Pause and hold on. Okay, last day of class is the 30th of November. Okay. I'm going to hit add. Okay, and then what days do I know that we're not going to actually going to be in class? Let's see. So on the 4th, that is Labor Day. We don't have that day. What other day? Let's see, we have fall break on the 16th of October. And then we have Thanksgiving break, which is the 2nd, the 24th. Okay, so I've clicked on the ones that are the, the classes that we aren't going to have because they're closed. And I'm going to choose the delete option and hit OK. And that will get rid of those. And so I'm getting rid of Labor Day, getting rid of fall break, and rid of, rid of the two days that are correlated with Thanksgiving break. And you can find that on the academic calendar. OK. And that is my attendance. So my attendance is now set up. So if I go to weekly basis and I go to next week, it'll just show me that I've got classes. Again, there's a different video that shows this more in detail. Okay, so that should take care of that. So the last thing we would have to do is go in and fix the gradebook. And I'm going to do that in another video. Stop this one because I'm getting a headache. But that should have copied everything over. Oh, one of the things you're going to have to change is the syllabus. The syllabus should be specific to that uh, section number. That section number. Um, yeah, just a thing. Okay, this one is just copied over from section 7. But you would just go in and change that file. Alrighty, so there's that. Uh, again, it will save you a lot of time, but again, it's not perfect. Uh, Moodle is not perfect, but it, again, that is a big time saver. So yeah, so go forth and conquer with this one, then watch part two of how to fix your gradebook. Ooh, okay.